Tally with my main man. It is Mike Daniel Jr., Alamo City All Star Sports Plex, proud supporter of Super Sports Media. And we are happy, lucky, blessed to spend some time with you, real quick, to release this latest list. And we see you again on Wednesday because we know the last one changed on Tuesday. So, real quick, Mike, um, that's the new list. What you think? What's your thoughts? And, uh, Let's shake and bake, and let's get this thing out there for the people. Uh, my thoughts on the list is pretty consistent, right? You got right. San Antonio teams that are playing San Antonio teams and taking care of business. And, uh, you know, shout out to Brendan Antonian and Steele. They've been holding down that one, two, and three slot, you know, since we started this joint. Uh, shout out to John Jay for climbing their way up the ladder, right? Uh, Judson and Wagner, uh, because of their strength of schedule, you know, was holding in tight. But uh, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you, Reagan is on the way. Uh, and and there, there's a huge game uh, this coming week that, that you know, is going to be is going to be some some furniture moving. You know what I mean? And so uh, I just love, love where we're at. Uh, guys are playing. You know, there are some teams that are playing some ball. Uh, Bernie Champion started out strong. And uh, now we're getting ready to start getting to the thick of San Antonio on San Antonio to where this list is really going to be shifting and moving and shucking and jiving. And so, uh, you know, every game, we talked about this since since June. Every game this season is going to matter. Like, every game is going to matter. You know, uh, it's going to be exciting. It's, it's, it's going to be exciting. Well, real quick, I just want to bring some clarity to it all because I know a few people have asked me why do certain kids and certain numbers move the way they move. And, then you know, we use strength of schedule. We use the fact of San Antonio playing San Antonio. Um, it all started preseason, and everyone that made the first list, I did get an opportunity to see play. Um, as we move forward, I'm trying to make sure I do see certain schools, i.e. the Holy Crosses and, and some of the smaller uh, 5A schools that are out there that are proclaim, proclaiming to be, hey, man, we're doing our thing. And, and that's all we really want to capture. So you saw that Harlan used to be uh, a little bit higher, I believe number six, I believe. Uh, on the last list, they were number on the oldest. Yeah, they were but, number nine. But no, yeah, no, I just want to give clarification. Hold on, Mike. I just want to give clarification of why I moved them down or why we we agreed to move them down. And the reference was, well, hey, they're only playing two San Antonio teams before their district starts. Yes, and i.e., they're expected to beat those teams. You know, they started off preseason. Games already. Excuse me, lost against. The teams that they played so far, i.e., one of those teams I believe is Wagner. Am I right, Mike? Am I right? Am I correct? Uh, to where as though they're about to play another juggernaut uh, this weekend, and hopefully they win. Uh, hopefully they don't go zero and two against San Antonio teams because that would hurt their stock a little bit. And they would drop a little bit. But i.e., I know you know kids kids are out. But the whole purpose of the list is just to represent the schools here in San Antonio to identify them playing great basketball. And just to say, hey, we are we have eyes on you and we're trying our best to make sure this list represents what our, our strong teams look like. We know when district starts, it's going to shake everything up. It's going to change everything. But remember, the whole purpose of the preseason or, excuse me, non-district games are to show your strength of your team. So that's the whole purpose of it. Getting ready to roll into district play for some schools. That's what we're trying to set the presses at. So strength of schedule i.e., uh, uh, you know, how you look as far as how many key players you have on your team and then just what you do regular season. That all matters. That all matters. So, yes, this list can look totally different by the end of uh, the next month. It can look totally different. 
But again, right. for some schools, district play does start. Go ahead, Mike. But I mean, tell the truth. You know, we got our favorites too. No, I'm just playing. I just like to mess with people. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but on on a, on a cool though, uh, there are a couple of schools that you know have reached out to us and uh, you know, spoke about why are they not there. Well, there's you're gonna get an opportunity to to put up and show out. Uh, I'm, since they since they came out publicly, I'm gonna speak on Holy Cross. Yes. You know, Coach Roche, Coach Roche went hard for for it for his Holy Cross. I believe they're the Knights, and uh, you know we know what they're possibly capable of. Uh, I believe this Thursday uh, they got yes. Alamo Heights, and yeah, so that that is a I, I, no is that Friday. Oh, excuse me, that's Friday. Sorry, uh, I know they got Alamo Heights this week, and so okay, hey, Coach Roche, hey, hey, Coach Roche, if you're watching, we you know we're gonna be watching. That's that's a that's a huge game. You you spoke on your boys is ready and coming. Hey. Go be about it. You know, that's all. That's all we got to say. We knew this was going to be an exciting year and we are doing our very best to to not miss anybody that, you know, schedule says they're deserving of being on this list. And so good luck in that in that in that game. You you got a tough one coming with the Heights boys and, uh, you know, good luck. But to everybody else, you know, we knew in June what this high school basketball season was going to be here in this city, you know, any given night, you know, just look at Clemens just took a, took a, took a tough loss to a uh, Soto, okay. you know, and you look at Soto's record, but you got to look at who Soto played. Right. And so that's, that's, you know, folks, we are really diving into, you know, who folks are playing. And so it's going to be a phenomenal season of basketball, looking forward to seeing everybody flourish and prosper and thrive. And, you know, just good luck to everybody, you know, unfortunately every night there's going to be a winner. There's going to be somebody that takes a lesson, you know, it doesn't mean anything other than you took a lesson and bounced back, you know, but, you know, good luck to everybody wishing all teams health, right. Want everybody fully staffed, you know, uh, and just looking forward to keep 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 checking these scores and 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 and, and seeing everybody having having a great season. Well, hey man, I just I just wanted to make sure we put a little snippet out in reference to hey, we are watching. That's my that's the whole thing behind it because it was almost like well, you're not watching. No, we really are watching. Again, we were in the gyms this weekend. We're going to be in the gyms this upcoming weekend. We was in the gym this weekend. Uh, we're going to cut open. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make Damn, sure. Stop making me laugh. Stop. We, we see that Holy Cross <laughs> and uh, and Alamo Heights game. That's going to be a you know that's one of our games of the day. It's not the game of the week, but it's the game of the day for us on the twenty uh, first. My bad, Mike. It's twenty first, not, not Friday. It's Thursday at two o'clock. That's all right. Yeah, you were right. So I'll be make sure I'm there at SAC, San Antonio Christian School. And uh, they have a tournament there, and I see Holy Cross and uh, and Alamo Heights has entered that tournament, and they play first. So, hey, we'll be there in, in the audience to make sure we give everyone a recap of how well both teams play. Because, like you said, there's no losers. There's only lessons learned. So, hey, man, hey. that's all I have. And I'll turn it back over to you, Mike. Go ahead. Give me give me, give me, me two sleepers off, off this list. Like, we know the captain obvious is. Who, who are your two sleepers off this list, Coach? Just, just, just for the people who who who's two sleepers. I'm not gonna call them sleepers. Is is just guys I really got my close eye on, and this number twenty five Piper. I'm really okay. paying attention to what they're doing because uh, this is their year. And to be honest with you, it's Davenport. It's my second team. When okay. I look on here, and I just see two schools I would love to see go as far as they can go, and just the talent they have is is those two schools. I think they would, you know, schools like that, um, again, I think I, – I, I don't want to say Jefferson and all those guys when we talk to Coach Vila, you know, you let us know, hey, man, he has a really good squad. And they always compete well. Uh, they're doing what they're supposed to do. But no one's talking about the Davenport right now. And a lot, a lot of people are kind of missing in Piper, but it's one of those, hey, man, how good can Piper be this year? They made the playoffs last year. Can they have that same success? So that's my uh, – that's my two that I'm kind of like, ah, okay, let me let me see what those two guys can do for the whole season. Let's that's, 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 that's hopefully keep them on the list. What about yeah, yourself? Yeah. 
Uh, definitely agree with Davenport. It's always it's always a slept on organization. Like who the hell is Davenport? Right? People yeah. forget that you know they even exist. Type of deal. So definitely Davenport for me. But I don't know if this is a sleeper, but. I, I'm not going to call them a sleeper, but I have a curiosity pick and it's them Reagan Rattlers. It's, it's some about okay. them Reagan Rattlers and what coach Hurst gets out of them. I'm, I'm curious what Reagan is going to do, you know, as we get ready to turn this corner, uh, getting ready for district play. Uh, and it's because you, you, you weren't expecting, you didn't know how they were going to bounce back this year with the seniors that they lost last year. Yes. Right. Yeah. You know, you look at everybody else on the list, you kind of know the pedigree. You know what Coach Bell bring, you know what Coach Vela bring, you know what Coach Hall, you know the pedigrees of everybody else. But to see Reagan here and John Jay there, I mean, but John Jay's not even a sleeper. We've been talking about John Jay since since yeah. since TABC in June. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so, and so I'm gonna be very curious to see. Uh, how Reagan turns this corner. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's my that's my I want to watch pick. Like it's 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 okay. the Reagan Rattlers right now. No shade at anybody else. Don't no, anybody no, no. dare think that. I want to make sure. Don't anybody dare think that they're just they're catching us off guard. And now they've got my eye to where. I want to see what they're going to do now. So, yeah. you know, again, good luck to all. It's going to be a fun season. We have been waiting on this since since TAB, since we came back from TABC in June. And uh, it's going to be fun, man. I'm Like I said, I'm wishing everybody health. Uh, you student athletes, please, please take care of your academic responsibilities uh, going into these Thanksgiving breaks and Christmas breaks. Uh just handle your business, fellas. You know, take take care of your biz, and we we can't wait to see you guys out there, man. We really can't. Well, hey, man, we're going to sign off, and we thank you again. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, again, you know, just continue watching and supporting. Peace out. Hey, bro, we'll touch base. Yes, sir. You think you